Hello boys and girls. Today we will learn about physical properties of matter. After this lesson, you will be able to define the term property, explain what physical properties are, identify characteristics of physical properties, and investigate physical changes in matter. Properties of matter. Everything that takes up space and has mass is called matter. All the objects you see around you are made of matter. Matter usually comes in three forms on earth. The three forms are solid, liquid, and gas. These forms are called the states of matter. A rock is a solid, water is a liquid, and air is a gas. A property is a characteristic that is used to describe matter. A physical property is one that can be measured or observed with the senses without changing the matter into another kind of matter. Physical properties are easily reversible. That means that it can always return to its original state and no new product is formed. Physical properties include shape, size, texture, hardness, odor, state, mass, and color. A change in the size, shape, or state of matter is called a physical change. Examples of physical changes are the melting of ice cream, slicing of bread, and the painting of walls. All of these examples can easily return to its original state. The boiling of water is also another example of a physical change. Can you think of any other physical changes? If it is not a physical change, it is known as a chemical change. Chemical changes are not easily reversible and a new product is formed. An example of a chemical change would be the burning of wood. After the wood has been burned, it turns to ash. This change cannot be returned to its original state. Ash would be known as a new product. Any time there is heat applied, this is not a physical change. Rusting is also another example of a chemical change. Questions. Can you identify examples of physical changes? In the first example, you would observe a man breaking a log in half. Is this a physical change? If you answered yes, you are correct. The breaking of the log is a physical change. This action can be reversed and no new product was formed. In the second example, you would observe an egg that has been fried. Is this an example of a physical change? If you said no, you are correct. Heat was used to fry the egg. Therefore, this is not an example of a physical change. In the last example, you will now see a gentleman shredding paper. Is this an example of a physical change? If you answered yes, you are correct. No new product was formed and the action can be reversed. That concludes our lesson on physical properties of matter. I hope you enjoyed and you are able to identify physical changes of matter.